I'm thinking about how our children know that we really respect them today, this week. So I often speak about going down to child's eye level. I speak about showing interest. I always speak about giving choices. What I'm realizing is that when we respect ourselves, then it can start to become much more easy and, and effortless for our children to feel respected by us. And what am I meaning by self-respect? You know, when you're putting yourself down and your child is hearing that all the time, or you're saying things um, about how you, not good enough you are, then it's very, very easy, in fact, automatic, for them to start doing and saying the same things about themselves. The message is that you don't feel you're good enough, and so how can they feel they're good enough? Uh, so self-respect and self-love are actually really closely, closely linked. And the more I've worked on myself, the more I see that they're just layers and layers to uncover. So how about spending a bit of time making positive comments about yourself this week, acknowledging the things they are doing well and doing right, and seeing how that rubs off on your kids. Um, you can use the words, I've been noticing that. Or, hey, you know, actually I'm quite good at. Or any little phrase, catchphrase like that. And when you start to notice the good inside you and you start to respect yourself, it's definitely going to rub off on them. Children are amazing sponges. They're absorbing in every moment of the day everything around them that they're seeing, that they're hearing, that they're sensing and their little feelers are out all the time. So give it a try and respect yourself so that that self-respect can be translated into I hear you, I see you too and uh, I notice you and you're amazing. Have a great week.